They're back. That's right. The orbs are back. If they ever disappeared, but our videos of orbs are now all over the web again. UAPs, whatever you want to call them. Planes are still falling out of the sky. And so this is Yahoo News, and it says here the NTSB says the US has already seen 140 plane crashes in 2025. Okay, again, we are 10 weeks into 2025. That's 14 plane crashes a week. Okay, that's what we're up to. Here's uh, the stats. January, 53 investigations, seven um, unaliving crashes. February, 71 investigations, the six unaliving crashes. And in the two weeks of March, 16 investigations, three unaliving crashes. All right, that's just in 10 weeks. So what have we got? Seven and six is 13 and three with 16 deadly crashes. So that's, again, more than one a week, more than one deadly plane crash a week in 2025, and that's just in the USA. That's not counting the rest of the world. And Elon Musk has blown another rocket up. So we are two and a half months into 2025. What is going on? Hi, guys. How are you going? Campbell here from Autodidactic Channel. Hope you're having a fantastic day. And the orbs are back. The orbs are back. They are in the sky, uh, looking very much like plasma, a lot of plasma orbs, uh, sort of displays of plasma. And basically UAPs is what they're calling them, right? So this stuff is happening again all over the place. Check this out. What the fuck? Finally something in Anaheim happens. What the fuck is that? I don't know. I have to say what they saw. Oh, shit. Now, that last one, I don't know if that's real. If it is, like, wow. But, I mean, it could be AI, right? We don't know these days. But what we do know is there's a lot going on in the skies, in the atmosphere, right? Got the orbs. Obviously, we, we had the drones at the start of the, the year. Uh, we've also had fires and a lot of storms, right? A lot, a lot of flooding 
some really strange flooding as well up in Chicago and Detroit, where they basically said that the flood was caused by a burst water main, but that burst water main flooded the whole city. So what are your thoughts on that? Was that really, do you think all the water came from the sky or do you think maybe water is coming up from below? Just like in, in the stories of Noah's flood, they say the water came up from below because, uh, you know, we've got a lot of flooding happening and we, we've just had it nearby me uh, in Queensland and northern New South Wales. And th what I'm thinking is these storms, all these man-made weather events, they could be there to hide the fact that the water's coming up from below. What do you think? Because we're having lots of water spouts. Oh, and set that right above our heads. Oh, that's nuts! I never ever thought I'd see that in my life. There it goes. In southern Italy, a spectacular weather phenomenon was caught on video. A column of air and water rose from the sea. The water spout headed towards land off the Amalfi coast yesterday afternoon. <laughs> And even geysers appearing, and this one is in the Sahara Desert. And by the way, the Sahara Desert is flooded as well. Heavy rains have left the desert regions of the Moroccan Sahara awash with flood water. It's been at least 30 years since this much rain has fallen in such a short space of time. Morocco's meteorology chief said it could change the course of the entire region's weather in the months and years to come. And there's this video here as well, which shows that oceans are receding. Like it's like the, the tide goes out but doesn't come back in. Something strange is happening to the water in the seas. It is getting much farther away from the shores and is not coming back. There are reports of the strange behavior of the seas from around the world. This is the empty shore of Thailand. Locals say they've never seen such a low tide. Next, the water moved away dramatically in Crimea and Turkey, and then Spain. The water just moved away from the shores and it's not coming back. Even off the coast of Africa, it's the same anomaly. So what do you think is going on here? Like, you know, if, if there's lots, lots going on, there's also all these sea creatures that are coming up, you know, fish that, that haven't been seen for a long time. They're deep sea fish like anglerfish or fish, which in Japanese legend are called uh, like the fish of the apocalypse, which is interesting. So we've got all these changes. But, yeah, the water, what do you think? Is the water coming up from below the ground and – you know, a lot of this weather modification that's going on is to hide that fact, to make us think it's coming from the skies. Just a thought. Let me know in the comments what you think. And we've got all the plasma in the skies going around. And, you know, again, I've said this before, but do you think that this is what's affecting all the aeroplanes that are losing control? Because they're not just crashing, you know, they're not just like the traditional, you know, <laughs> the old school crashes where they would fall out of the sky or they would try to take off and not, not, you know, get very far. We're getting planes running into each other, you know, on the tarmac. We're getting small planes crashing. We're getting medical planes crashing. We're getting helicopters crashing. We're getting jumbos crashing. We've had one flip on its roof. Of course, a lot of these are Boeing, you know. If it's Boeing, I'm not going, right? A lot of questions about Boeing and there's their safety standards, basically, but this seems to be much more widespread than just Boeing because, like I said, we've got helicopters and small planes involved in this as well. So is this the plasma building up in the atmosphere and because there's such a strong charge, it's affecting the electrical equipment of the planes and causing all of these crashes? Because, again, we've got all this video of plasma, you know, plasma balls in the sky. We Last year we had the, uh, the northern lights and the southern lights right um like way out where they shouldn't be the northern lights were seen like down in texas and the southern lights were seen up in you know central australia queensland and places where 
they shouldn't have even been seen from Tasmania, right, from the lowest point in Australia, and they definitely shouldn't have been seen down near Texas. So is this, again, just a sign of the plasma building up in our atmosphere? Like, because this is what seems to be happening. We're definitely in in flux, right? We're in a time of change. There's so much change going on, and and a lot of choice is up to be made. We, we get to choose now like which, which direction we want to go in, which is why there's such a fight for our attention at the moment with all this new stuff, you know, all these news stories that come out and three days later, they're gone and there's some other new, more sensational story. You know, obviously Trump's in the news a lot with everything he's signing and we're still really yet to see a lot of that come into fruition, right? We've heard about Doge and they're finding all these dodgy schemes and stolen money, but but we haven't seen anyone arrested we haven't seen any politician, you know, with the money taken back. You know, none of this stuff, no fraud charges, nothing like that has come out. The Epstein file, you know, that was a big mess, right? A big non-event. So there's there's a lot happening, but also is there a lot happening? You know, there's we're being told lots is happening. Like there's lots of news, lots of sensationalism and uh, fighting for our attention. But what is really going on? with the, the control system, right? The elites, those who wish to rule us, to me, it looks like they're losing power, right? Because the, the the energy, the frequency of this realm is changing to a more positive frequency, which means to be in power, right? To be empowered by that energy, you've got to be positive. So, you know, the whatever you want to call it, right? The deep state, the cabal, the governments, the Illuminumis, whatever, um, they seem to be losing power. Like everything that they try and put out is being exposed as fake, like literally within hours of the story being released. And so what they've done is, you know, they're putting out all this stuff as, as you know, we've got saviors, right? And we've got bad people at the moment. And they're trying to make us pick sides because they love division. All right. But the truth is, you know, no matter even if any of these politicians are good people and they're going to change for the better, we still need to grow up and not need leaders at all the whole problem is that we follow people who have agendas that's the problem right it's not the people who are who, who we're following if if no one followed them there'd be no issue so a lot of change going on but you know time to keep our eyes open and i you know like i said i think the energy is definitely rising and turning to a, a positive a positive charge and we're going to see that coming through but but that is for us that's for the people the people who wanted to rule us, you know, that's a negative energy. Wanting to control someone else is a negative state to be in. So, you know, there might be one or two up there in, in, in that system that are trying to do the right thing that will be empowered. But but generally, it's us. It's us that are going to be empowered. We, the people. So we need to use that. We need to start focusing on we want on what we want and we need to get out there and take action and do it. Start building this new world that we all keep talking about. Because systems are falling, which means we need new systems. So the energy is is rising, and I think we're seeing it all around us, right? We're seeing it in the skies. We're seeing the results of it. And, you know, we're also seeing um, other earth, cha earth changes, like a lot of water, and we did get told to watch the water. Now, I think that came from Q, so who knows? But it's definitely been a phrase of the last four years or so, watch the water, and uh, now the water seems to be doing strange things, right? It's it's going places it, it not not it isn't normally like where it, when it's flooding, uh, the oceans look like they're receding at least you know in some videos. And there's definitely a lot more you know storm activity, right? Man-made, yes, but why? What's the real purpose of it? Is it just to reclaim land? Is it you know, just for the for the fifteen-minute cities and to get? you know, rare earth minerals and all this kind of stuff, black rock conspiracy, or are they trying to hide something else from us, like that there are earth changes happening and there's bigger changes coming. And so they're trying to trying to distract us from that. Uh, you know, with all these stories, like the whole fake alien invasion is getting blown up, you know, all these disclosures coming out, but, but it's not really, right? We get all these people coming out, oh, they're disclosing everything, but then we just get these dodgy, grainy, you know, photos and videos that we can't really confirm as fake or or not. 
So it all seems to be a distraction and distracting us from seeing what's really going on and from empowering ourselves and taking the reins and starting to build this world into what we want it to be. So just a short video, guys. Wanted to show you a bit of what's going on and just yeah, sort of give my perspective and just put it out there that this is the year of change, right? But it's not for us to sit back and, and wait for other people to change it because then when that happens, they're going to take advantage, right? People who want to be in power are the exact people who should never be in power, right? We should know this. So these people in power, these billionaires, politicians, stars, you know, actors, musicians, all this stuff, that, that they would gladly make the decision for us, which they've been doing, right, for the last 150 years or so. So instead of sitting back and watching the change, I think it's time to step up and be the change, right? Be the change you want to see. All right, guys, hope you enjoyed that one. Please leave me some comments. Uh, give me a like, subscribe, all that stuff. You'll also find some links below. Uh, Tartaria Australia, the podcast I do, that is now on Spotify. You'll find the link for that below. Uh, also, some different courses where, that I'm running uh, coming up with other people, uh, websites, all that stuff. And I've also um, relaunched my merch store. So a couple of T-shirts, some mugs, stickers, stuff like that, if you want to check that out as well. All right, guys. Well, thanks for spending some time with me. Have an amazing day, and I'll talk to you on the next upload. Bye for now.